Welcome everybody and congratulations if you've got this far, you've logged on to Ultranet, you've explored the page menu with some of the public pages, you've explored the navigation menu, you've looked at breadcrumbs as a method for navigating Ultranet, and you've explored your own classes to the right side. This tutorial will help you create a page for one of your classes. We'll enter some text in a page and we'll format that text and we'll also upload a picture and a short video. We'll start by choosing an empty class. Go to the classes menu at the top of the page and choose a page I haven't worked with before. You'll notice that there is some generic text on that page. If you haven't got that text there, you will need to go to the Page Tools menu, adjust layout, and drag the page HTML module from the available modules on the right hand side and into the center of your page. When you've finished, it should look something like mine. You should be able to see the page HTML module on the grey grid. When you can, click OK, I'm done, and we'll move on. To change that text, go to the Page menu and choose Edit Page HTML. It will take a few moments to the page. When it does, you will see the generic text on the screen. Select that text and delete it by pressing backspace on your keyboard. You can then move your cursor to the center of the screen using the Align Center button and type a message to that class. Set your text and increase the size. You may want to change the type. Only common fonts are available in Ultranet to make sure that students see as you when they log on from home. You also might want to change the colour of the text. Once you've done that, we'll move on to uploading the picture. Give yourself a couple of new lines, and then we'll go to the Image Manager. You can also reach by pressing Ctrl G on your keyboard. Select Image Manager, and again, it will take a few moments to load. When you can see the screen I'm looking at now, choose Upload Image. Browse. Go to the Desktop. Resources. Teacher Resources. AMPD. Ultimate PD, and you'll see there two files the College Crest and an image, and a video from Google Earth. Choose the College Crest and click Open. You'll need to upload that file to the Ultranet server. Again, it will take a couple of moments, and then you'll see the file name to the left hand side and a preview to the right. Choose Insert. You may want to center that image using the same tool we used before, the Align Center, and possibly resize it. Select outside the image, give yourself a new line, and go to the Media Manager. The Media Manager will allow you to upload videos and audio files. Again, choose the Upload Media tag. Browse. Because we've already gone to the Ultranet PD folder, it should still be there. Click on the video and choose Open. Again, upload to the Ultra server. It will take slightly longer than the image, but still only a few moments. Once again, you'll see the file name on the left-hand side. Before we click Insert, we will need to specify some options, including how 
large you want video to appear on the screen. This is quite a detailed image. So 150 pixels by 150 pixels will be small. We'll go for 500 pixels. Type 500, decide width, and again decide height, and then choose Z. The media manager will place the file in your page and you can then click date. At this point, it will take a few moments because Explorer is trying to play the video while Ultron is loading the page. It does take a little bit of processing time. But once you've got that phase, you can then sit back and enjoy your handiwork. As you can see, the page that we designed is there in front of it, and there's a video playing. Congratulations, everybody, and enjoy the regular PD session.